Right, hey guys, how we doing? Back another video from Geekdom 101, and we're going to be checking out Japan's Dragon Ball Dima promotion being awful, and Geekdom talking about it. I mean, I've not seen much about Dima whatsoever, apart from like the initial trailers, whenever uh, that came out. But isn't this meant to be dropping this year? I know nothing about this anime, uh, so. Yeah, let's 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 find out why, shall we? Dragon Ball fans are really, really mad. I'm really, really mad. So mad. <laughs> Trigger warning. <sighs> I will tell you that everybody knows that Dragon Ball Daima is coming later this year. Yeah. And everybody knows that it's gonna be Toriyama's final project that he worked on when he was alive involving Dragon Ball. Yeah. And everybody knows that it's the 40th anniversary of the original Dragon Ball manga beginning publication in 1984. So why is there not such a huge, massive deal about it? Except that's not exactly true. The reality is no, everybody does not know. People in online communities, people who follow this channel... Yeah, we know. ...or those who are on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Reddit, and different communities all across the vast World Wide Web, they know about Dragon Ball Daima, but the general public, the casual fan, the person who just plays the Dragon Ball video games, doesn't really go online too much, or at least not often enough to get this information, has no idea what's going on. Mm. And once again, just like with Dragon Ball Super Superhero, the finger can be pointed squarely at Japan. That's brilliant. That is brilliant. For their ab- I'm sorry, but that makes me laugh every time because I think someone edited it with the, um... Oh, you... I will always love you. Uh, I just put you at the end. Anyway. Absolutely yeah, abysmal <laughs> lack of promotion for Dragon Ball Diamond. Yo! And I personally find it very strange that the only information that has come out about Daima has been two short trailers and some character art drawn That's by it. Toriyama. That's it. Come on! Revealed Push it! Promote it! Let's get it out there! And a little bit more information back in January. And that's it. There's been nothing out there about the plot, the characters, or the direction that's been officially released to the public. It's been places online through various leakers and various different content creators that people even have an idea, even if it's a brief idea, of what the story is. Do you think Japan just thinks, you know what, it's Dragon Ball. We don't need to promote it. Everyone's going to watch it anyway. That's a dangerous thought process to have with anything, I feel, because you can never have so much faith in something that it's just going to, like, promote itself. You've got to do something with it. Because, yeah, imagine Diver comes out and they're just like, right, it's out now. Nothing. I mean, I know Sandland is, is in the, the whole Disney thing, like, with Hulu and that, and they don't promote it. But that's, you know, not the production company. Ah. Meanwhile, Japan has not said a word. We didn't even get Madness. anything on Goku Day. You would think what? that would be the day you show yeah. something, anything, and we got nothing. Nothing. Incredible. And interestingly enough, this has led to this very strange civil <sighs> war among some Dragon Ball fans and One Piece fans what? because Dragon Ball fans feel like they're getting the short end of the stick. They feel like Toei Animation is it's putting more into, into the right. 25th anniversary of One Piece oh. than they are the 40th anniversary of Dragon Ball. Ooh. Well, first of all, let me get this Ooh. out of the way. I've never seen One Piece before, but I am planning on starting the manga later this year. Yo, do it. It's such a great journey. For the first time. So I have no opinion on yes, One Piece. Do However, it, do it. I do find Dragon Ball and One Piece people fighting with each other to be, if I'm being honest, kind of childish and it's kind of weird. immature. Especially yeah. since when Akira Toriyama passed away, Eiichiro Oda, the One Piece creator, said some really emotional nice and powerful about things him, about yeah. the man whom he idolized. If anything, One Piece can be seen as a love letter to manga and to Toriyama himself because so many elements of Dragon Ball are in One Piece. And I say that respectfully because Toriyama influenced so many people yeah, across did. the world, Can't including Oda, Cannot who has die. taken that and created his own 
gigantic cash cow. I am not going to engage in Dragon Ball versus One Piece debates, especially since I have no opinion on One Piece because I haven't read it yet. Yeah, yeah, but fair. maybe soon I will. With that being said, however, I understand Dragon Ball fans' frustration because we're living through it once again. Here we have Toei Animation. Dragon Ball was a major hit before One Piece even started. It is an international phenomenon, and while One Piece might be the current big dog of manga in Japan, and the biggest priority to Toei Animation in Japan, internationally Dragon Ball has been around longer and has integrated itself culturally to many countries around the world. Yeah, it's like, oh my god, everyone, like, what? Well, you got Adidas trainers, like track suits. You've got footballers like doing all the Dragon Ball stuff. Blah. And the sentiment is KSI. understanding. I don't think that people should be oh. mad at One Piece for just being successful if you're a Dragon Ball fan. But I do understand wanting to know more about Diamond. Diamond because yeah. unfortunately, people have already formed their opinions on this show without even seeing a single episode. Not a day goes by where I don't see a comment where somebody refers to it as GT 2.0, which is completely false and complete. I can see why, though. I can see why, but I think it's got more potential. Completely untrue. Borrowing an idea from GT, making Dragon Ball Daima GT 2.0 is no different than when Dragon Ball Super Broly coming out, them taking a movie exclusive character that was not in the manga and having Toriyama recreate I mean, him for Dragon Ball he's Super. Also not and yet when that movie came out, everybody was, was almost insane. unanimously so losing their yeah, minds like, over the greatness that yeah, was Dragon Ball Broly, Super though. Broly. And yet... You would think that after the success of Broly internationally, that Toei Animation and Shueisha would have learned their lesson and promoted Dragon Ball better for the follow-up, mm. 2022's Dragon Ball Super Super Hero, great and yet the promotion for that was also abysmal. It sometimes feels like content creators and people in the community, me, you guys, people all over the web, it feels like word of mouth spreading through us is doing their job for them. And it's not our job to do their job no, for them. Stop. But it's pretty damn disgusting that here we are in the middle of 2024 when the new series is starting months away and we barely know When's anything officially from the accounts about the plot, the characters, or where this series is going to go. I'm not asking for spoilers. I don't want to know everything. That's I want to go something. into this and be surprised and be entertained as do most Dragon Ball fans. But they haven't even really told us the premise for the show. Let's not forget that for previous films and Dragon Ball projects, we saw the villains early on. Maybe not the secret final villain like Cell Max, yeah, but we saw the... Yeah, I appreciated that. That was cool, because all the rumors and everything, it's like, oh, and then you go in, and it's like, oh my god, it's a thing. Gammas. We saw more information and we're given more information and yet here with dragon ball daima we are months away from the premiere and it's almost like japan is covering their eyes and ears and not really Just putting any effort thing, yeah. into promoting this now you could blame toy animation and really shueisha is likely the cause and people have already come out and stated that shueisha is the ones that are really behind the project that was Dragon Ball Daima, formerly called Dragon Ball Magic, so you could blame them. Either way, it doesn't matter if you blame Toei or Shueisha. To me, I have no love loss with either company because I feel like this is a major problem with the Dragon Ball IP. Dragon Ball is internationally known, and they know that. Akio Iyoku knows that, the executives at Toei they, and Shueisha know this, know <laughs> and yet, they choose to not really put the hype train at full blast like they did with Broly. Yeah. Why is it that with Broly... Yeah, it's weird. Broly did so well, and I, it was everywhere. The promotional stuff was everywhere. Go to the cinema. Posters were out. There was, like, promotional cards for, like, some cinemas was going there. Boom. Insane amount of promotion. The film did so freaking well. And then... There was new information coming out every week, interviews, some character information, See, models oh, coming out. It was so Yet cool. with like, ah! upcoming new series, which Nothing. is being hailed as the final Dragon Ball project that Toriyama worked on when he was alive, being 
almost ignored. To me, that's bad business. I've always felt that bad Dragon business, Ball baby. has never been able to fully Ooh. capitalize on its popularity. It's always been insanely po Just a quick one. If I keep making weird noises, it's because I, I went to a gig on Saturday, got way too heavy in the mosh pits, and I've really hurt my chest. <laughs> Every time I kind of, like, cough or hiccup or have a slight bit of gas from a drink, it hurts. <laughs> popular and a part of the culture with everyone all ages multiple generations and yet for some reason japan never wants to look beyond its own borders and never really wants to capitalize you gotta make on these that way, thirsty though. fans that want more it doesn't make sense to me that dragon ball isn't bigger and isn't putting out a multitude of manga anime and video games every year yeah. and the big hype for this year is really mostly sparking zero because at least with that we're getting information and somewhat frequently, God bless Bandai for that. And yeah, a Bandai new anime, really which people have wanted since 2018, is barely spoken of. And all we get are some poorly photoshopped images from Toei and Shueisha to hype up the show. It's absolutely embarrassing, and I don't understand it. And I never will. We have numbers to prove this. I'm not a biased Dragon Ball fanboy. I can prove to you that Dragon Ball is incredibly successful. I can prove to you I mean, that both know. Superhero and Broly we did very know. well all over the world, not just in Japan. America, so Canada, <laughs> Australia, Latin America had millions upon millions of fans eager to see what the next adventure would be. And yet, that's with very low promotion. Here we have Daima, which could actually be more important because it's part of the legacy of Akira Toriyama, yeah. and yet we have nothing. I understand the frustration. I don't think you should point the finger oh, one at piece. <laughs> One Piece or try to have wars with One Piece fans just because One Piece a... is getting priority with Toe. I didn't realize it was such an uproar, but yeah, it's, it's like... Uh... The eldest child being jealous that the younger child's getting more attention, I suppose, isn't it? Anyway, Shueisha may be the problem, but ultimately it's another example of Dragon Ball getting the shaft and a business decision that to me makes absolutely no sense. No, I am expecting more Daima information to be released in July at some point, although I'm Please. not going to guarantee anything because who knows? what their plan is or what their business model is but to me their business model has been absolute garbage Trash. and if it wasn't for the popularity of dragon ball it would be a failure because of their lack of promotion i cannot tell you how many times i have been here scratching my head trying to figure out what toei and shueisha's plans are and why they make such strange decisions and it's not even like a japanese culture thing it's specifically with the Dragon Ball IP. I have seen so many people that want the Dragon Ball IP to be taken away from Toei. And I understand that. I really hmm. do. It's just never going to happen no because this contract has been in place since the 80s and it's not going anywhere. Toei's too big and they're not going to give up Dragon Ball. And also bear in mind that Capsule Corp Tokyo, Akio... Let's get Elon Musk with all his money to go buy it off of Toei. Let's go, Elon. <laughs> Yoku's company that's supposed to be in charge of the anime and games was not even a factor a when this series going, was first like, ah. being commissioned a couple of years ago. So hoping for Toei to give up Dragon Ball to another studio is like hoping for world peace. It's probably never going to truly happen no matter how much we all think it should. And that's unfortunate, but oh. that's the world that we live in. So regardless if you want to point the finger at Toei or Shueisha, the promotion has, once again, been a joke. And it's too bad because a lot of very talented people are working on this show, and they want so many eyeballs on the fantastic work they're doing on it, and yet Japan keeps twiddling its fingers. Some things never Yo, change. Budokai 3 intro. It is confusing, isn't it? It's so weird. It's like, come on. The amount of money you could make from just promoing it. But yeah, like I said at the start, it's like, I think maybe they just think they don't need to do anything with it because it's Dragon Ball. But that's just stupid. 
But anyway, thank you to my patrons. If you want to have your name at the end of every video, links in the description to the Patreon page. $1 a month is the last Hell Sports Challenge. Great appreciate Thanks for that. Thank you all for watching. And also, if you click the join button, uh, you become a member and uh, you'll be able to watch my videos early and stuff. Uh, what do you guys think of that? What do you guys think of this? Click like, subscribe, and leave comments below. Let me know what I should watch and discuss in future videos. I'll see you guys all you guys. Nate, damn.